Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich of our history, specifically one sent in by Jackie, who says that her aunt in South Georgia used to make this for her. Uh, it is the deviled egg and tomato sandwich. Now, I don't have uh, deviled eggs laying around, and I've only made them once in my life, and I haven't made a southern version, so I went online and I found a recipe at lanascooking.com, and uh, I'm going to follow that recipe. First thing we got to do, hard boil some eggs. All right, now we just cut them in half. Remove the yolks. Now we mash the yolks with a fork. We add in yellow mustard, mayonnaise, I'm using Duke's, and sweet relish. That all mixed together. Then we put that mixture back into the eggs. Now, this is kind of chunky. It's not as smooth as it should be, so I'm going to call it rustic. And charge you $12 more. And, of course, a little paprika. Now, since these are supposed to be using leftover deviled eggs, I'm going to put them in the fridge to set up for a while. Okay, now on one piece of toast, we slather it with mayonnaise, salt, pepper, tomatoes, and yes, I realize they're winter tomatoes, so I'll take that into account. On the other side, we smoosh in our uh, deviled eggs. Okay, let's give this deviled egg and tomato sandwich a go. It's tasty. Uh, it's definitely rich with the mayonnaise and the deviled eggs, but it's good. It would be even better with a summer tomato for sure, but this is still pretty tasty. I think I do want to plus it up with one thing though. I'm going to add a little Furukake all-purpose seasoning from Trader Joe's, Nori Komi. Okay, let's give this deviled egg and tomato sandwich plussed up with the Furukake from Trader Joe's. Ooh. So the Furukake has uh, white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, nori, and it goes really well with eggs, and it goes really well with tomatoes, and I thought it's going to go really well here. The deviled eggs have a little bit of a tang to them. This helps to kind of counterbalance that tang quite a bit, and it just works really well with everything in here. All right, so the deviled egg and tomato sandwich was pretty tasty on its own. It'd be even better with a summer tomato. I'm probably going to give that, I'm probably going to give that about a seven and a half. If it was a summer tomato, probably an eight. Uh, plus up with the Trader Joe's Furukake, I'm going to give that a nine. That is delicious. It plays really well, kind of uh, counterbalances the tang of the uh, deviled eggs. Works well with the tomatoes, works well with the eggs, works well with the mayonnaise. Uh, that is definitely tasty. I am definitely going to finish that, and I would make this again if I had leftover deviled eggs. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.